initiative from one of the student organizations involved. And then, then we also invite a professional from the Philadelphia area to come speak to us. Could they do some sort of community development wrapped around sustainability? It was very successful and they've kind of been going ever since. Um, a lot of sustainability salons and study circles, uh, a lot of, if you follow them on Facebook or Twitter, they're always talking about their weekly study circle for some sort of subject. And then from our mission statement, we decided to create the idea of a sustainability summit, which would be the sort of kickoff event to start this communication between all these groups. Would that increase the growth of the tree, or um, would it alter it in some way? And we saw that when we applied um, the antibiotics, the fungal pathogens took over and actually decreased growth. Resource monitoring, um, it's a project out of the Environmental Studies Department here at Dickinson College. It was started in 1986, and the mission of ULARM is to empower communities with the scientific tools to monitor, protect, and restore Pennsylvania streams. We offer to any student who comes to us with an idea, um, whether or not that involves money, um, <coughs> because we realize that there are some projects that may not um, need money from us or may get money from elsewhere, but the students may still need guidance in building a team or getting a network or connecting um, with certain um, departments on campus that they may not already know about. And in a way, that's kind of baseline. If it, nothing is changing, as hydrofracking is there, and then suddenly there's a spike in something, then they will still know that something's up. That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, so obviously our, we're on a very different scale yeah. than here at Kevin State is. So that's something that definitely is a part of it. What is this? So you got there. Um, and I am here at this rainy Cool, I can see it. I can see it. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to say spell. <laughs> um, and I'm here as well. Uh, that consortium is getting us insane amounts of return relative to how small our, our DAP is, which is pretty small. So coming up, um, sort of get folks in the community engaged with water resources. Cool. Well, no one really knows what it's about. I don't even know. <laughs> no one even knows. Uh, I think there's one group you know. that kind of just does stuff, and they don't. It's just hard to differentiate between the two. Yeah, we have a thing on the bench. Biomass stoves produce a large hot flame, so it's easy to cook a lot of food quickly for a large family, such as those in the Indian villages, or for guests. The clean cook stove and flame are much smaller in comparison and cook slower. Uh, start small. Start with just a few hives uh, because beehives can expand really fast. You can, you can quickly get up to 10 hives in a matter of a couple of years and um, yeah, it can, it can grow really fast. So definitely start small. So as I mentioned, we do actually create the rain barrels ourselves. The other picture is basically the completed barrels. It was taken the night of last semester's rain barrel workshop. Thank you.